All right, time now for another collection video, and this time we're going to do my Columbia TriStar VHS collection. As I got a bunch, excuse me about Columbia TriStar. I got a bunch of these VHSs. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go over the foam star and clamshell cases, and then we're gonna go over the monster and cardboard cardboard slipcover cases. Oh, so, well, we're do. Let's get right to it. This first one I have is extremely rare. This is a 1978 VHS of the Ander Anderson tapes in 1971 film starring Sean Connery. It's that flea market last fall. And I actually watched this movie. It's actually pretty good. It's a former rental from Videoplex. This tape has a sticker label. It's upside down. But this VHS has has only has the 1978 Columbia Pictures Summer Entertainment logo, and then the star of film after film's got the FBI warning screens, and during, near the end of the FBI warning screens, it makes some weird noises, but it's all right. Still a pretty good movie to watch, the Anderson tapes. We got the big blue. I got this earlier this month at Flea Market. Gene Rhino and... It's another film I have. It's made by Westward Entertainment. Griffith Dunn, who also starred My Girl in this film, too. I'll have to give this. It's a pretty good movie. It's more rental. So, I don't know. It's a 1989 VHS movie from 1988. It's a 1988 film. Next up, we have Loverboy with Carrie Fisher and Christy Alley, and I think Elizabeth Daly, the voice of Tommy on Rugrats, is in this one too. It's a TriStar film. It's a 1989 VHS release. It says Bay, but this is on VHS. Plus, at the beginning, it's got the um, FBI warning screens, and then the coming to video cassette bumpered in some previews for See No Here. Hear No Ever, then Ghostbusters 2, and another preview I can't quite remember. But then afterwards, it shows the RCA Columbia Pictures on the logo, the 1984 TriStar Pictures logo, and then the film. Alright, here's Lover Boy. What's up? We got Zebrahead. We made by Oliver Stone. I really know who's in it, but it's made by Tri Trimark Pictures. It's just a nice night free VHS pressing. I actually watch it. It's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good thriller. So, let's see. Alright, there you have it. Seaverhead. So, we got The Music of Change with James Spare, Simpson Star, Man, Pink Tankin, MMH, Watch the Light Great Charles Spoon, and The Light Great Crisper Pen. It's an IRS film. This is a 1993 VHS. And um, this movie, it's pretty good, actually. So. Yeah. Alright. Next up, we have. Bye Bye Burry, a 1995 VHS, part of the Columbia TriStar Family Collection, a 1963 musical comedy film. Features Dick Van Dyke, Anne Margaret, Bobby Randall, and Ed Sullivan. Still a pretty good movie, actually. Bye Bye Burry. It's pretty funny, so. We have a that. So we got. Well, number 1995 VHS starring Phil Kramer. It's an MGM film. 1988 film made by Lucasfilm, such as owned by Disney. It's actually a pretty good film. I kind of like it, so. Yeah, well, next up we got 
one of my favorites. My Girl. 1991 film, 1995 reprint, starring Dan Aykroyd, Jamie Lee Clears, Macaulay Cullen, and Emma Jumpsky in her film debut. And Griffith Dunn and Richard Master co-star. It's a pretty good movie, actually. My Girl, so... I also have the original 1992 VHS pressing, which we'll talk about in another video. Alright, I'll show you one more tape before we stop, and that's Sherlock Undercover Dog, Anthony Simmons. This is a MDP film. It's a 1995 VHS. I actually watched it. It's a pretty interesting film. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to stop here for part one my Columbia TriStar VHS tape collection, but when we come back, I'll show you even more. I got a bunch more shows, so stay tuned for that.